Hey everybody, it's about time I did a Deadpool vlog, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry this took so long, but the weekend Deadpool hit theaters, I was sick as a dog. There was just no way I was going to be able to get out and see it. I wanted to, really wanted to. I woke up and my brain was like, hey, let's go see Deadpool. And my body was like, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. You're not going to go see Deadpool. You're not going to go do anything. You're going to lie here in bed and drool all over yourself for the next couple of days. That's it. Maybe if I feel like it, I'll let you get up every once in a while to pee, but that's all you get. Yeah, that was not a fun time. But fortunately, I am back at full strength, or at least near enough. So, finally got a chance to see this movie that everyone has been talking about. Man, it was worth the wait. This was a lot of fun. I really like this movie. So if you're not familiar with the story of Deadpool, you out. No. Uh, basically, it revolves around this guy named Wade Wilson, who is a mercenary. And at some point, he meets and falls in love with a prostitute named Vanessa. It's your basic mercenary meets hooker love story. That's a thing, right? Well, it's a thing now. And for a while, life is going pretty good for Mr. Wilson, until one day when he suddenly gets all of the cancers. Like, seriously, all of them. Like, brain, lungs, liver, prostate, I think that's what they mentioned. Just, like, everything is just cancer. So he's not doing too well. But one day, he is approached by a mysterious recruiter who tells him not only can they cure him of his cancer, but they can turn him into a superhero. Wade likes the idea of becoming a superhero and also, you know, not dying, so he volunteers for the program. But while he's part of it, he learns that he is in fact not going to become a superhero. Rather, he is going to be turned into a superpowered slave and sold off at an auction. He doesn't like this idea, but in any case, he does eventually get cured of his cancer and becomes a mutant, because since this is owned by Fox, they can actually use the word mutant, unlike the Avengers. And the mutation gives him incredible regenerative capability, which not only wipes out the cancer, but pretty much makes him immortal. But it has the side effect of turning him into a hideous freak. So he adopts a cool code name and costume and goes on a quest to kill the guys who did this to him and mayhem and hilarity ensue. Now, unlike the Deadpool from X-Men Origins Wolverine, which, oddly enough, this movie does acknowledge, uh, I thought they would just pretend that movie never existed, but nope, they actually do bring it up, briefly. Um, but unlike that Deadpool, which was pretty much Deadpool in name only, this is Deadpool done right, and it is glorious. Superhero is probably not the right word for this guy. He's very much a super anti-hero. He is a ruthless killer, has a very twisted sense of humor, and as you would expect from a Deadpool movie, there is plenty of fourth wall breaking. There's a point where uh, one of the X-Men Colossus uh, tries to take him back to see Professor X, and Deadpool blurts out, McAvoy or Stewart, I forget which timeline we're in, or something like that. <laughs> Love those moments. And I am so glad they had the balls to make this a hard R, because if they tried to tone this down for a PG-13, it just would not have worked. So kudos to the studio for letting that happen. Ryan Reynolds does a great job as Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool, and I am so glad he finally got a chance to make the movie he has wanted to make for more than a decade. And I'm happy he got to redeem himself after X-Men Origins and also Green Lantern. Of course, he's having a lot of fun with the gratuitous violence and the wisecracks and all that, but seriously, he is a really good actor and his talent really shines through in this movie. There's a bit shortly after he escapes from the facility where they turned him into Deadpool and he's trying to track down his fiance and... You know, he's wearing a hoodie, but doesn't really have anything to cover his face. And as he's walking down the street, trying to get up the nerve to just walk up to his fiance and talk to her, he's getting all these weird looks from people because his face looks just absolutely hideous. Like they said in the trailer, it looks like an avocado had sex with an older avocado. But yeah, he's just watching all of these people given these horrified looks and just, there's no dialogue in this scene at all. It's just him and his facial expressions and nothing else. And he handles it perfectly. And it's very easy to overlook something like that because of the silliness of the movie and it's admittedly sophomoric humor, but he's really good in this. As far as the rest of the cast, Morena Baccarin, who plays Vanessa, was 
as good as she always is, and I'm glad she was not just there to be a simple token romantic interest. She actually has a pretty big part in the movie and is kind of a badass in her own right. T.J. Miller is once again playing a comedy sidekick. It's a role he does well. Ed Skrine plays the villain Ajax, who is this super soldier that's had all of his nerves killed off so he can't feel any pain. He was a pretty intimidating character. Gina Carano plays Ajax's sidekick, Angel Dust, and she doesn't have a whole lot to do in the way of acting, really. She's more of just a silent henchman, but she does get the opportunity to bust out her fighting skills here and there, and she has a pretty cool fight with Colossus at the end. Speaking of Colossus, he's one of two X-Men in this movie, the only two that the studio could afford, as Deadpool points out. Um, and, you know, the very first scene where he's introduced, I really like this moment, because this guy is just this big, burly Russian dude with a body made entirely of metal. You'd think they would introduce him in some kind of an action sequence, but no, the first time we see him, he's just chilling in the kitchen, eating cereal, watching the news. I don't know why, but I just really love that moment. And the other X-Man in this movie is this deadpan goth teenage girl who goes by the codename Negasonic Teenage Warhead, which of course Deadpool thinks is the coolest codename ever. <laughs> Negasonic Teenage, what the shit? <laughs> and he's not wrong, it is an awesome codename. And of course you have another gratuitous Stan Lee cameo because you have to have a gratuitous Stan Lee cameo. It's like a law or something. The movie was directed by Tim Miller, and this is his first feature-length film. And considering that, I would say he did a damn good job. The movie is shot very well. The fight scenes are a lot of fun and very, very bloody. Like I said, they did go for a hard R. I was a little disappointed in the final fight, not, not because it wasn't done well, it was, but just before they go into the final battle, Deadpool loads up this huge duffel bag with every gun he can find, but then once they actually get there, he finds out he accidentally left the bag in the taxi. Clearly, there was a plan to put these guns to use, but they had to change it because of some budget cuts from the studio or whatever, and the filmmakers took the opportunity to make a joke out of it, which... Admittedly, it was pretty funny, but it does make you wonder what could have been. So if you have not seen this movie yet for some reason, maybe you had an excuse like I did, but if you haven't seen it, you need to do so because this is awesome. And make sure you stay through the credits because there is a post credit scene. It's not quite what I expected them to do. I kind of had a feeling they would try to do like a parody of the post credit scene in The Avengers, but instead of eating shawarma, they'd all be going out for chimichangas. Um, not the direction they went, but what they did was very clever. It's definitely one of the best comic book movies I have ever seen, and I cannot wait for the sequel. And that's all I got to say about Deadpool. So until next time, take care.